guys? Eric here with another edition of Comic Crazy Reviews. This week we're just going to get right into it. We're going to start off with some of the books from Villains Month. Justice League 23.1, which is actually Lobo number one. And um, as we all know, DC announced that Lobo is going to be different now. He's actually going to... Apparently the Lobo that we already know is actually an imposter Lobo. You know, the big guy with the long hair and the goatee. Uh, the new Lobo is kind of a Twilight looking guy. Like he's all like thin and in shape. And he just looks very young, but he still has the exact same attitude as Lobo, which is really cool. He's not, he didn't go all emo and stuff, which he might look a little emo, but he didn't really go emo. I'm not too sure if I'm enjoying this, if, if I'm happy about this, but I mean, it is what it is. We got to deal with it, right? And it, it, this book was actually good. Um, pretty much has to do with Lobo trying to find um, where this imposter is, because he pretty much wants to kill him. And he goes through this whole process of um, getting some cargo and fighting off some people. And his, his weapons are really cool. And he, he cuts people's heads off, come right off, come clean off. No blood or anything. And it's just um, it's a really badass story, really badass artwork as well. And I just like the how they make Lobo a lot darker than other characters in the DC Universe. So uh, this was a 3.5. Definitely check this out as well. All right, guys. Next up is Superman Action Comics 23.2. Uh, and it is actually Zod number one. And this is a book I was highly anticipating because we get to actually see Zod in the DC Universe for the first time in the New 52. I believe it's the first time in the New 52. Correct me if I'm wrong. But in my opinion, it's the first time in the New 52 that we get to see Zod. And he's a freaking badass. He really is. Like, he goes to this whole thing where him and his parents are, like, on an expedition for science and stuff. And he creates these monsters. The monsters end up attacking them. And you think, like, oh, you feel bad for Zod. His parents were killed, blah, blah, blah. But then in the end, you find out. And he's the one who actually killed his father to let himself get away while his father was being eaten. He gets to run away and he lives in the jungle for a little while. And then it kind of shows how he goes, you know, starts getting mad with power. And Feyora's in this. They actually bring Feyora into the comic books, which again, I don't think she's ever been in the comic books before. Uh, it's really cool to see her. And then you get to see how Zod ends up in the Phantom Zone for the first time in the comic books. And what he does is pretty much unleash like a creature on Krypton so he can go to war because he really wants to go to war. This guy is nuts. Uh, this book was awesome. This is another 4.0. I definitely recommend picking this up. This issue is Batman Detective Comics 23.1, which is actually Harley Quinn number one. Uh, this is a book I was really looking forward to because I'm a huge fan of Harley Quinn. Uh, I don't know why. I just am. I guess I like crazy chicks. I don't know. Whatever. But this book, um, I was wondering what they were going to do because we already kind of had an origin story back in Suicide Squad uh, last year. But we still have, it still is kind of an origin story. Um, this is a lot like the Poison Ivy issue, where you see uh, Poison Ivy walking around, you know, causing destruction, but then she's talking to herself pretty much about her past. This happens with Harley Quinn as well. Talks about her past, like with her family, and how she became a doctor and everything. Gets into why she started dressing up to try to get into the minds of the criminals, and how she falls in love with the Joker. In the meantime, it shows her in the present day, going into Gotham City, and causing some trouble. And I think this was the, I don't know, I, I would say, like, coolest way that I've seen like Harley Quinn on her own cause some trouble uh, it has to do with like handheld video games and uh, I really think you guys should check this book out the artwork starts off a little rough but after a while it actually came out really well I really enjoy the artwork in this book definitely recommend picking this up this is 4.0 all right guys that about wraps it up for this edition of comic craze reviews I hope you enjoyed it don't forget to uh, comment and subscribe also don't forget to check out bkbn.net for all your news reviews and more and I'll see you guys next time